Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Uh, I'm your host, Mr. Mill, and it's been a while. So, uh, if you guys didn't notice, I got a new phone. This is the Samsung Galaxy S8. My old phone was the S5, so I'm three generations behind. But uh, that's besides the point. The point is, I'm back here, and uh, I'm heading to school. It's May the 4th, hence my Star Wars t-shirt you guys can't see right now. But um, we're heading to school. I'm gonna show you guys a couple things that are new. Uh, some student artwork, uh, some car parts <laughs> that we're gonna do, and then we're gonna go to LaGrange and hopefully uh, pick up something that's an old, you know, at the old apartment. And uh, that's basically it, so let's get going. All right, I've been playing around this camera a little bit. A couple pros and cons. Con number one is that when it comes to this front-facing camera, uh, that it's not as wide of an angle lens as I would like. But you know what I do like is that I'm about to approach train crossing and it's very bumpy. And one thing that the S8 Plus has that my old phone didn't have is a video stabilization. So we're gonna experience it. Uh, we're probably experiencing it right now because it's pretty bumpy right now, right here. But, so it's pretty stable. I can record in 4K if I wanted to, but this is the way I encode, it's maybe worth it. So anyways, I'm going to school. I'll see you guys there. Uh, always, sometimes though, is the first one here, but uh, not this time. So let's head in. By the way, happy May the 4th. Uh, this is my t-shirt, I'm not sure if you can see. Hey. Star Wars. Sorry, I can't really stretch it out with the camera in my hand. There you go. And then I have the hilt. I just took out the blade. Now let me just reverse my camera in one sec. Alright, so here is my Obi-Wan lightsaber, aka uh, the display at my house. Uh, there's the blade, so I just took the blade out, and then I just put the hilt on, just like this. So I think it still works, with the thing on. Let me just test it out. So this is it right here. Is it off? Oh, so <laughs> it'll just make that noise because the blade's not on there, but as soon as I put the blade on, uh, it'll work again, but uh, that's basically it. So I'm just gonna <laughs> put on my little holster right there with the belt attachment. I think it goes like this. There you go. This little hole right there. Clips right on. I think. Yep, there it goes. I'm gonna leave that on there all day today. <laughs> I decided I didn't like the silver, so what I'm doing is I'm painting it with this type of, um, whatchamacallit, uh, bluish. So it has a blue tint to it. Blue is not the final color. I'm gonna use this uh, chameleon plastic depth to give it kind of like that neochrome effect. And then that's basically it. So I'm still fixing these, and right now I'm gonna get ready for third grade. So give me one sec. So I didn't know this, but uh, first grade's in a field trip. They went to the zoo. So I have time, and I've been uh, painting these things still. And basically, uh, the neochrome's going quite well, but I didn't realize how much coats I need. Uh, so they're pretty nice. Uh, if you guys don't know what neochrome is, or just chameleon color, see chameleon, uh, that it color shifts within the light. So you can see it's kind of like, um, uh, kind of like a bluish tint versus uh, and then a greenish tint. So I'm gonna do a couple more coats and then it should be done. And I'm gonna bring this to my car later on. Um, maybe I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But anyways, um, I'm just gonna clean up a bit and then see if I can do anything else before my next class, which is I think at 2:30. But I'm not quite sure because I've heard that first grade might be coming back soon, and they might wanna uh, pass it on to the specials. But we'll see. Uh, so maybe I can draw a little bit. I don't know. Let me try to think. So I'm still trying to learn how to work this camera. I just lost a bunch of footage. I don't know where it went. My phone just kind of just like froze. Uh, basically I was just filming uh, those lug nuts. Uh, they're, all, they're all done, I put them away. And then I kind of just like walked out the door and that's it. So basically the day's done. I'm heading to my old apartment to pick up something that I ordered online. And you guys will see that momentarily. So it's only an hour drive. And you guys will be able to see it. Let's get going. Well, we're here in LaGrange and uh, I was able to pick up the thing, the package I sent to my old apartment. And it's here in my trunk. I can't wait to show you guys. Let's, let's just take a look. Yep. Day two. Uh, it is the next day. Uh, I had to, you know, go home and do stuff and get Mother's Day card. But uh, anyways, it's last week or last day of the week, and uh, we're gonna head to work. And that's where we're going. Gosh, I love my wheels so much. They look so cool. <laughs> All right, let's get going. Okay, so we're heading to Dunkin' Donuts. It's the next day, of course. Um, so when we're in the parking lot, we're gonna show you what it looks like under the hood at the moment. And I did a couple modifications already. I got a couple of aftermarket covers from Japan, and then I got like the front strut over there and stuff, and a couple covers and stuff like that. So you guys get to see that, and then you guys get to see what the cold air intake replaces. So you're gonna see the before and after shot, and we'll do that right now. 
Alright, can I get a medium ice caramel macchiato with skim milk? And then can I have uh, two hash browns? Thank you. Thanks a lot. We'll see if they got it right. <laughs> Looks like at the moment there is uh, I forgot about these. Is the hood struts here, right there? So instead of having the whole thing like clamped down, um, here's the front strut bar I came in. Uh, here's some other covers I did. Uh, these are aftermarket. This one, this one, and this one. Now the, the structure that's going to be removed is this one over here. This is the stock uh, air intake. And it's going to be having a cold air intake. It's going to be looping around and it's going to be polished. And uh, what else did I do? Oh, I replaced the cap. That. So this should be too hard. I'm gonna be replacing this structure and this structure, so I'm gonna get to remove those in a little bit. All right, I'm gonna try to ignore the cold, but uh, here's the box of the cold air intake. And if you guys are wondering, uh, this is the dynamite I ordered like maybe like a year and a half ago, and I didn't realize, but it's only like this much. So maybe I'll just cover the uh, spare tire uh, area. So right now, I'm gonna open it for the very first time, so you guys are getting first glance. Um, I'm gonna read this later. And here it is. So I'm gonna, wow, this is a lot smaller than I thought. <laughs> but it looks cool though. So it's polished, uh, finished. Looks really nice. Has more instructions I get to read, so I'll read that. More stuff, ooh, stepper too. And here's the, oh wow, this part's big. Oh, it's blue. Nice. All right, so there's the reveal. <laughs> <sighs> I love Friday treats. Okay, I'm gonna get some of this. Oh. I had to do a couple morning errands, but I'm back in my room now. So I'm gonna put my coffee away. Uh, if you guys didn't notice, I did bring the InGen uh, inside the classrooms because it's uh, too cold outside to take a look at it. And um, paper will fly everywhere because it's windy. Um, so right now, uh, I, I finished doing Picasso Ward Wall. I did April and May. <laughs> so there's a lot of artwork hanging up right now. And then uh, I'll show you guys those winners later. Uh, but right now, I'm gonna see what's in here. I already opened it in the back of the trunk. But um, the reason why I brought it in is because I'm just repeating myself, sorry. <laughs> so, I mean, it looks pretty cool, so let's take a look. I'm gonna reverse the camera. All right, so we could take a better look now. Quality, form, function, engine technology. World's well, first, I don't know what it says, tuner system, I don't know. Anyways, um, it's pretty cool. Uh, pretty large box, and here is the product specification. So it's made for the Lexus CT 200H, and also the Toyota Prius, because those two cars have a lot of similar parts, so that's that. So I'm gonna open it opens like this and if I unbox it we get to see what it looks like so I'm gonna take all this stuff um, those are the clamps that I need some directions and I unpacked the uh, cylinder base already so it looks like this has this nice red thing on it I think I can yeah I can peel this off it's the most satisfying thing in the world wow, that's awesome so <laughs> that's that looks super shiny so this goes into the uh, the, uh, the oil valve and then air intake is like that, like such. And hopefully I install it properly. Hopefully it doesn't take that long. Um, just more and more stuff I can just throw away. Here's a big air intake. Oh, here it is. And that goes like this. Down here like that. Wow, that's huge. Um, <laughs> now I think that's it. All this stuff can go in the garbage. So in the packaging, it comes with, of course, these parts over here. And then over on this side, it comes with... Um, let's see, the filter cleaning procedure, and it's pretty simple, so I can probably keep this in my binder, so I'm gonna keep that there so I can store that. Uh, comes with a free decal, nice one. Uh, I'll probably put this on the hood or something, I don't know. Or or the bike rack, the bike rack would probably be smarter. Um, these parts, uh, I think these are the washers in the ooh, zip tie. And then here is the uh, hose clamps, so nice rubberized. And then it's labeled in gen, nice and flexible, nice. And here are the uh, clamps, really nice. And a nice picture diagram for installation. So I'm gonna read this on my brakes and stuff and uh, see what I can do. Wow, this is super detailed. So hope I can do it within a day. Um, actually not within a day, uh, within my lunch time. And if so, then great. And it's gonna look like this when I'm done. Here it is. Ooh, that's gonna look nice. All right. I think it's time to start teaching kids. So, I right, get going. I was able to disassemble the plastic because it was like really attached in there, but check this out. It has a cool, uh, yeah, let's put it down right here. It has a cool spider design on it. Really cool. Looks awesome. So I just want to show you guys that, but it's unfortunate you won't be able to see it because it's going to be pointing downwards at the angle, but I just want to show you guys that. Um, and yeah, 
So I have some free time and I'm between fourth and third grade. I got Scott Div with fourth grade. So I'm gonna do, uh, my goal is to try to take off the stock uh, box, which is this uh, these two systems right there. And then after that, I'm gonna leave it alone. And then hopefully during my lunch break, I can install uh, this thing. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to read up to figure, I think 14, and then I think this will stop because I don't have that much time. All right, here we are in the engine compartment. Um, I won't be able to show you guys everything because um, uh, I'll probably need two hands, but let's see what I can do with just one hand so far. So I need to unclip these. Okay, loosen the clamp from throttle body air duct to air box cleaner using a 10 millimeter socket. So that's, which thing? that's this thing right here. And I could probably just use a screwdriver for that. Uh, and then lift up the air box cover, disconnect the sensor harness. All right, so I'm gonna need some two hands, hold on. Let's loosen this up, which is really easy. So I need to lift up the airbox cover, which is held just like this, which is great. And then I need to remove it. Okay, maybe I do need two hands. All right, so this looks like where I'm gonna have to stop and then find the proper tool, because guess what? I can't reach this 10 millimeter socket. I don't have the correct tools. I have an extender right here, but it's not long enough to um, torque it out. So say for instance, let's go over, sorry, wrong way. So it goes over here and use the tool in there with this. I still can't torque it uh, to get it loose. So I'm gonna have to put everything back together and unfortunately uh, find the right tool. So <sighs> that's disappointing. So in the meantime, I was able to uh, remove the air filter, the air duct, and then disconnect the MF sensor. And of course detach um, the oil sensor as well. Um, so I'm just gonna leave it like this. And uh, hopefully I'll get back to it later. Of course I'm not gonna drive like this, but um, yeah. So I'm gonna try to find one. Maybe the custodian will have one, and then I'll go from there. So let's close it up, and work on it later. Let's go back in. Well, good news. The custodian had a couple extension brackets that I can use. So hopefully this reaches in the car. So we're gonna head back out and try again. And I parked over here on the way back. We're gonna head there right now. Are. and see if it works oh ta-da perfect okay let me get started all right so i was able to take out the four bolts that were required the two in here and then two over here as well have them over here nice and steady um there was another bolt over there so now hypothetically the whole entire thing can get removed so i just need to remove these hoses just like this just like that i think i don't know and then hypothetically the whole thing can come off. I probably need two hands. It's uh, my lunch break, and I forgot uh, I got a package in the mail, and uh, it's my rear license plate. So I put my front one on. Well, this is going to be the rear one, and the reason why I like to have them different is because uh, the rear one doesn't have four holes like how the front one does. It has two holes. So this, this is by this is a real carbon fiber, by the way. Um, it'll look nice and clean. So I'm going to install this as well. You know what? Let me do it right now. Uh, this is what it looks like right now. I did have a bubble plate on it before, but I had to take that off because I got uh, notified by a police officer that it was illegal. So I um, don't want to get that ticket again. So um, I'm going to put this new one on and see how it looks. It looks nice and clean. I mean, it does cover the White Sox logo and then the Land of Lincoln. But other than that, it looks pretty clean. It looks straight up. It's nice and shiny. And it shouldn't make that vibrating noise when I close it. So I'm going to try to close the door. I don't think. Eh, kinda. It's alright though. I mean, plate's a plate. Looks good. Alright, time to work on that cold air intake again. So I need to get uh, Phillips, I think, in my pocket. To remove these two screws, to remove the sensor off of the uh, air duct cover. And then I need the needle pliers to remove the last dam I need uh, down over here. So once I take this off, this whole entire structure can get removed. So I'll do that right now because I need two hands. What seemed like the easiest job was actually the hardest one. Moving this air duct from that. That will handle it. <laughs> okay, so this one put it in the back. Alright, time to install the engine throttle body right over here. Make sure it's nice and snug. I might need two hands. I'm not really sure if we do this. Oh, that's gonna be a tight fit. So let me use two hands in order to install that. And I'll use the uh, clamps to tighten it down. So give me one sec. Next up, I have to okay, open up the directions. I need to place the MAF sensor, which I took off of here, onto this one right here. And then I can attach the filter onto here and then place it in. I need to hurry up because my lunch period is over. So I have to do this real quick. I apologize if this too many steps for you guys. But uh, I'm gonna try to do this super fast. 
So if I have to install this vibro mount right over here, like that, I think, I'm not quite sure. And I'll give me one sec, guys. I need to figure this out. Probably only have time for one more step. Uh, I was able to install the uh, uh, MAF sensor and then the actual filter, and now the vibro mount is right there. I understood it. So now I'm just gonna line everything up uh, with how it's supposed to be, just like this. And then I'll just install everything uh, later. All right, so this is what it looks like right now. I have to get everything to it later on. But right now, I gotta teach first grade. So let's get going. I'm uh, basically almost done. I just tightened this last um, this last thing over there. So that's attached really nice and well. I did a little socket to attach that. And then now I'm gonna clamp this back on. And this loose hose is gonna be the zip tied somewhere. I have no idea where to zip tie it. Maybe over here or something. I have to read the directions again and then I should be done. And I can attach the cover back on and that's basically it. I didn't get a chance to paint these. Uh, maybe I'll see them for another day uh, and then that'll be it. Right. It's the end of the day. I just had uh, second grade and did a great job by the way. My Friday classes, second grade are always like uh, so well. Uh, so I'm just going to put up my stools right now. It's going to be a little loud when I do this so I'll just uh, do it on my own. But I want to show you guys something that they made. It's a uh, mandala and I'll show you guys my old air intake because it's funny. So anyways, Let's uh, get to showing you guys. So this is the uh, thing that they made. So basically half of it's like first grade, third grade, second grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, and then second grade. And then uh, they made a spiral like this and it's gonna be hung up uh, kind of like chains like this. But uh, I like the way that they organize it. So it's unfortunate I have to take it apart, but it's okay. And this, this is the uh, stock uh, air intake system in the Prius and it's funny because uh, it's so, so it was so huge and basically the new intake is like uh, the size of this along with like a big filter but uh, it's just funny like that little filter or that uh, cold air intake got replaced by or this got replaced by that little thing so kind of funny but I don't know what to do with this maybe I'll put it in storage or something but this is still good I think I can still use it if I wanted to but I don't know I'll keep it safe so yeah so that's that so I'm gonna clean up and then I'm gonna need to head out I finished putting all of the stools up. The uh, floor is somewhat okay. Um, if I go back in here, I forgot to show you guys from this last uh, time. Uh, these are the finished painted lugs. So you can see they're kind of like this like neochrome color if I hold up to the light. So it color shifts every single time I uh, turn it. So it's kind of like bluish, greenish. It's kind of cool. Uh, I'm gonna leave this right here, just like that. And uh, I'm gonna make sure I have everything. There's my bag. Uh, <laughs> by the way, this, this week was a teacher's week so I did stock up on uh, some treats that they gave us. So thank you guys so much. And uh, I think that's basically it. Let me see if I have any drinks in here. Not Arizona. No, just Miss Johnson's uh, food. <laughs> All right, I need my sunglasses, and then I can head out. Um, I'm back in my car. I've already been driving it for just a little bit. I'm heading to my destination, so I have the GPS on. But anyways, um, all I gotta say is, wow, it's a Prius, and it's pretty loud. <laughs> I know when it comes to noise, it's mainly the muffler and the exhaust, but when it comes to the air intake, it, you could definitely uh, tell the difference in uh, audible, but uh, when it comes to performance, it's going to be the same uh, because the ECU will always overtake uh, whatever modifications you do when it comes to performance parts. But when it comes to this noise, it definitely does not sound like what it did before and it sounds amazing. It sounds clean. It has this nice uh, kind of like rumble to it, I'd like to describe it as, but either way, I thought the only, I thought my only improvement would be aesthetics, but oh my gosh, when I Put the pedal down, it just sounds amazing. So I'm at a red light right now, I'm about to hit green and you guys can hear it in about a couple seconds. I'll show you guys right about, if I can time it right. No, you guys <laughs> got next to me like finishing up right now, ready? See, that's not normal. Like that does not sound like a Prius and that's, the upgrade. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.